Hey guys, this is here bringing you another video and welcome back to Unranked to Diamond, the series to take a Smurf account, fresh account, never played ranked before, and show you the adventure to Diamond. I uh, returned gold 100 LP in promo to platinum uh, after doing the first game yesterday, which was the Yes of Woo. Uh, that game has not come out yet of me recording this, but I'm, I'm looking forward to, to see what people think about that because I thought it was actually a really good episode, um, considering we were on the clock, you know, waiting for that delivery. Uh, what am I going to ban? I don't know. I'm potentially, potentially going to get rid of Volley Bear because he's very strong right now. And uh, I'm not in the mood to play him. Uh, well, I, I technically am, but Unwrecked to Diamond is about playing a lot of stuff, not the same stuff. So it's banned anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, Right. We're in promo. I want to have a decent impact. Um, So we'll see. Olaf has actually been on the list for me to play. Uh, recently. We're against a Riven. Okay. Riven, obviously, now in the top, in the bottom right of the video. Riven is the next champion for me to play, um, when we hit a certain Twitch sub goal. So, yeah. I'm either gonna play Kled or Alawi. Should I play Alawi? I don't think I've done Alawi yet. Do I own Alawi? I do. Let's do her. Don't, I don't think I've played Alawi yet in the series, and she's normally quite good versus Riven, because when Riven has to go for the all-in, Alawi ults and just goes SLAM! Uh, and that's kind of what happens. So, wait, what? Um, do I want to do that? Because obviously things have changed. Perfect timing isn't bad. Yeah. And then probably... F God, they've swapped stuff around, haven't they? That, and then Biscuits. That's what I want. And then Cosmic, and then into sudden because your w uh, counts as sudden and then healing because you you want to do a lot of healing okay that, that works cool Ugh, all right teleport um let me just quickly check if i haven't done the lowie i'm i'm like 90 percent sure i haven't but you never know with me uh allowy uh i have not good my last allowy video was in december wow Holy moly, I've really not done a lot of Alawi. Wait, videos in general. I have only ever done one Alawi video. Is that right? That can't be right. Unless did I spell it wrong? Is it AOI? Oh, it's AOI. I keep always spelling it wrong. Right, when was the last video? Still December, but I have done more than one. I've done like 10. Okay, I thought that was wrong. Anyway, without much further ado, let's get into it. We're playing Alawi in the top lane. I don't know what just happened. Wait, what? Was that not the end? Oh, I thought that was the end, but then it wasn't. We're going there now. All right, welcome to the loading screen stats. Uh, and as you'll probably notice, uh, which is something I was actually expecting to happen, we have now moved into the the domain of diamond. So let's break it down. We've got myself as gold one in promo to platinum. Platinum one, Nunu jungle. Platinum two, uh, Oriana that is apparently another Smurf has Smurfing in their name. Platinum two, Varus. Platinum two, Thresh. And then. Diamond 5 Riven, Platinum 1 Sedge, Diamond 5 Ari, Diamond 4 Zaya, and a Diamond 5 Janna. So yes, we are in the Diamond domain uh, that half the people in this game are Diamond. On my team, the two people that were ranked last season, the Varus and the Thresh, both are Diamond. I thought this was going to happen. So obviously, technically, if you want to be very technical, we're a gold-rated account with Diamond MMR. Uh, but yeah, that, that's why... It's not really the rating that matters, it's your MMR. And if you always find that you're rated higher, like you get, you always get higher rated people in your games, just keep playing because the system is telling you you're supposed to be climbing. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, it means that we'll be winning a lot. Obviously, if we can keep the winning going when we get to Platinum and we then we'll definitely have proper Diamond MMR, uh, it'll be probably quite hard to climb in Platinum because we'll be just playing with Diamond players in Platinum the whole way. Uh, and my main account right now, again, I haven't played too much on it, but it's in Diamond 3. So, you know, th th there's a Diamond 4 on the enemy team. That's not that far away from my account. And obviously, yes, there are big differences even from Diamond 5 to Diamond 3. But still, you know, it's still the top 1.5% of the game or something like that is Diamond 5. But anyway, I'm looking forward to it. Without much further ado, let's get into it. Where we're playing Alawi in the top lane versus Riven. All right, we're in the game today. We're playing Alawi uh, in the top lane. The sound is still mucked up, so again, apologies. Not my problem. Rito hasn't fixed it yet, which is really weird that they haven't attempted to fix it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we're in Diamond MMR, so half the people in this game are Diamond. The people that were ranked last season, my team, were Diamond last season, so... Yeah. It's cool. Ooh, mamma mia. 
Wait, you're still going? Okay. Enemy team kind of obviously saw it coming. Uh, Riven versus Alawi, though. Um, it favors either of them, really. It depends who's, like, okay. Like, I haven't played Alawi in ages. And, again, when you uh, the only time you see Riven players is Riven players. And, yes, it is a Riven player. They have played a, an okay amount of Riven. Um, so I do have to be a bit careful. I've also got to be careful of getting capped. Uh, Alawi is a champion that, again, the higher rank you go, and now we're going into the diamond domain, uh, people know how to counter champions more. And one of the biggest ways to counter Alawi, and I know it's very basic, and it's like, doesn't that counter everything? Is just camping her, is CC. Uh, and again, I've said it before, yes, technically everything is countered by CC, but there is a priority list within League of, like, which champions should be focused the most when it comes to CCing them. And Alawi is one of the highest in that list. Uh, in League of Legends, period. Not just top lane, in League of Legends, she is one of the highest champions you should be focusing with CC. And that's why she's annoying, because she can get tanky, and then you have to focus her with CC, and you're like, what? She's tanky, we can't kill her straight away. It's like, yup. All right, so, um, the question is, what do I want to do? Pushing it isn't a terrible idea, but basically pushing it does make me uh, lose a bit of control. Also, she went Aftershock. Alright. Interesting. Uh, the new Alawi skin is also coming out sometime soon. Uh, it looks pretty good, actually. Um, Resistance, I think it's called. That we voted on it. It's kind of... I don't know. It's weird to see that, you know, they've obviously done work on multiple skins. And then, like, either they ditch two of them. Or what I think likely is going to happen is in, like, two years' time, there'll be a new Alawi skin. And it will just be the one of the ones that we voted on. And it'll be like, oh, that, that's where it went. Aha. All right, so Kleptomancy Alawi. Why Kleptomancy? One, there isn't a really a rune for Alawi. You know, there's not one that would perfectly align with her. Um, but Klepto does quite a lot. So her lane phase can go pretty bad really quickly, Alawi. Where Klepto can kind of give you a lot more gold and stuff like that than you normally wouldn't get. Which is really handy, obviously. Um, so that's one reason. The second reason... Um, well, those are the two reasons, really. There's not really another one. Is simply, she doesn't really have one. And it procs, her E procs the Klepto. So yes, you want to be able to auto-attacking champions to proc it. But you kind of technically are when you're attacking her ghost. And that's kind of a nice little synergy there. With uh, Again, don't know if it was intentional, but I pres presume so. Uh, she probably will be one of the users of the new skin. Uh, not the new skin, new rune. Uh, whatever it's called. I can't remember. But she'll probably use that. I don't see why she wouldn't. Um, again, we, I think we've hit pretty much all of these so far, which is really good for us. So she is just running straight out. But I've already got two gold baggies. First blood in the bot lane. As you all know, it's my favorite lane to get first blood. Eh, that's not terrible. So Sedge is bot lane, so I don't really have to be scared at all. Oh, man. Cool. So Aftershock, I don't know. Why Aftershock? Like, I've seen Rivens do a, a number of things. So... Yeah. Ooh, wow. My W didn't go off. She killed me before the W. Wow, that's surprising. All right. Uh, let's prop these. 110, 100. Okay, that was worth. Uh, yeah, that's annoying. Wow, holy moly. She did a lot of damage. I don't know if I was tanking minions. Ah, ah, ah. I couldn't ping it in time. Hopefully she'll be okay. Depends if she flashes. She does. And then Oriana had to flash after. Don't know if Nunu will be able to do anything there. Maybe. If Sedge doesn't have flash. Damn, I'm really annoyed that I died there. It was very close. Oh, that is really close. Let her base a bit longer and then go to stop it. Wait, really? She didn't stop? Usually people would stop, like, basing as someone's running towards them, but she didn't even move. Okay, interesting. And then she's not teleporting directly on top of me. She's teleporting to the tower. She knows what she's doing. I'll give it to her. There's definitely a little bit of a jump up from last game to this one, I'll tell you that now. Ooh, one 
Just need my level 6 and I should be completely fine in a 1v1. To be honest. Uh, now, there used to be, again, some people may ask if you haven't kept up with the loud, it's like, Huz, I thought you maxed um, W or E, sorry, on her. There's, like, old ways to play a Lowy, and the, the main old way why you used to do E was um, Deathfire. You took Deathfire, the old rune, a long time ago. Uh, right now, anyway. Um, and obviously that's gone, so that's why you don't really do the E max anymore. Some people still do it, but I personally don't think it's as good as it used to be. So, <clears throat> I just go something with a little bit more conventional. Okay, now I can... Oh, wow. Now I can play a bit more aggro. Yeah, the aftershock works, I guess, like on most of her abilities. Her Q it works. It her W it works. Interesting. You will be tested. Don't want to be using too much mana, because obviously very mana reliant is Alawi. You you are not an auto attacking champion. You're a spell champion, so. If you get caught out with no mana, you're probably dead. That was a baddie. Want to ward the tri bush in a second. Uh, it's not infernal, so Sedge could just come around this area. She doesn't have an obligation to be bot lane because it's not that of important of a dragon, to be honest. But honestly, I don't even mind just kind of free farming from now on. Um, I will outscale her in the one v one, so. Because the difference is our damage numbers will be relatively the same in 1v1s. But I actually will just get tankier than her. Um, so, yeah. Not in motion. <gasps> Nearly wave clearing a, a minion wave in one go, though. That's pretty good. Two Qs and the minion wave is dead. This Oriana does seem to be struggling quite a lot. And, she unf and again, she has the name Smurfing. Again, to me, if you're going to have Smurf in the name of your account, you'd be pretty confident, right? Again, obviously, I'm a Smurf, but I'll never have, like, Smurf in the name. I don't know. Part of it, obviously, is I, I want to be re relatively in incognito when I'm playing on my Smurf. I don't really want people to know I'm Smurfing. And yeah, if they look at the account on OP.GG, they'll obviously know. I have no idea why she's staying so long. There could be, like, a Sedge there. Okay, she's bot lane. That's really good. Nice. Wait, what? Okay, so Ari did die, uh, die or Oriana did die, but they traded. It's not terrible. Um, I probably want to stay around 50 odd seconds until my teleport, because I may as well. Um, yeah. I just thought, did I have even Corrupting Potion procced for when we had the first initial fight? I don't know. I'm looking forward to look that back because I don't know if I did. If I didn't, I'm a stupid. Okay. I'm not really making much use of my Klepto for a little while because we're not really... Got CC'd. That's again one of the biggest issues. If I had, I don't know if I had flash up before the Sedge ult, but I didn't really see it, I'm gonna be honest. But yeah, just instantly dead without being able to do much. Didn't even get ult off. Damn, man. Rough. Yeah, we got a lot of items at least. Uh, got teleport up again. Yeah, I won't teleport if he's gonna just wave clear it, I guess, because that makes sense. Do I want anything else? No. Ah, I'm annoyed. I think I could, like, if I managed to, like, not get hit by the set jolt, if I did have flash up and dodge it, I think I might be able to 2v1 there. Because with my ultimate, you just go mental. So, damn. But that's, that's a Lowy, you know. Wait, did she... Some weird play going on. We're in all camps, really. Even with me. Okay, we got boots now, because that's why I didn't buy, because I was like, wait a minute. We're going to have boots very soon. 
<clears throat> Nunu actually has made zero impact in the game right now, which is pretty bad. Um, I think he got a dragon, but it was like, you know, not infernal. I think it was cloud. So it's like, yay. It's still good, but yeah. Jungle difference right now. She's got two. He's got zero. We'll see if that continues. Hopefully not. Uh, so she does have a completed black cleaver. I've nearly got it and I've still got teleport. So I could just like farm for like a minute. Go back, buy it, and then look to fight. Because I'm very confident. I think I definitely can kill the Riven in a 1v1. Um, it just has to be at the right opportunity, basically. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to go well. Hmm. Does the Orianna play Orianna? Yeah. 100% win rate in four games. Oh, <laughs> Why did Nunu flash? Ooh. I need more tentacles. Obviously, your ult gives you them, but generally you always want to fight when you actually have a natural one around. Because when your ult runs out, you won't really... You won't be in a good place. Alright, let's go back and buy our Black Cleaver. Again, I don't know if I'm going to teleport back to lane because these guys might be actually killing this tower. And I don't, Well, I don't know if swapping is a good idea, potentially. But I want to have my teleport just in case, like, Riven teleports down. Because they're pressuring the bot lane, like, a lot right now. And by the time Riven pushes in, I think I'll be already back. So, we'll see. They've got to be very careful of the Sedge gank, though. Nunu's nowhere near, and they're pressuring the tower really heavy. Can guarantee, like, Jan is typing in chat. Hey, come, Sedge, they're pressuring, blah, blah, blah. So obviously he's farming, but that's not great for us. Okay, got teleport if they need it. Okay, Riven is randomly here. Hopefully Orianna is okay this time. Doesn't look to be. Let's push it in. See if we can like force Riven to teleport back. Alright. We're going to get a decent amount of tower damage. We're actually going to have more tower damage on her tower than she has on mine. So that's pretty good. It is the storm. Nunu is really overextending though. But I don't know why. Oh, it's Nunu. A little rough. Nice. They got first blood tower. That's great. How are they doing? They get one kill. Ah. That's not bad. Like, to be honest, they got first blood tower. We knew Sedge was, like, around that area. Ooh. We knew Sedge was around the area, so. We don't know where Ari is. There she is. There. Just, le just leave. Just leave. Just leave. Not bad ultimate, but I still think you can't save him. And then be, with her overstaying, she's risking dying herself. Yeah, she died. The Orianna's got some very questionable... For having Smurf in her name, it's a bit odd. The Riven teleport was pointless, but yeah. Eh, like, I, I, I know the Nunu's done a lot of bad stuff this game, but the Orianna's also done a lot of bad stuff. I've done some bad stuff. Like, it, it's not all the Nunu, you know, he hasn't done anything, and the one thing he's done was, like, go here and die, but the Orianna's done some very odd stuff for somebody with Smurf in their name, you know. So, I don't know. To me, it's a bit of, like, scapegoating going on, like, there's more problems than just the Nunu, but people will, like, because maybe the Orianna has been embarrassed by her own play, she'll just kind of go, no, it's only Nunu. When it's not. You know, the Orianna could have just run away there. She suicides when she definitely couldn't save the Thresh. Just stop typing and play. But yeah, the Orianna is just annoying. And th 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 this is why a lot of Smurfs get a bad rep, by the way. Is because people like her. It's like, ugh, just be quiet. We'll do it for her. That's Infernal Dragon that they're doing. And, we, and eh, Nunu's the other side of the map. That's not good. There's not a lot of jungle pressure going on by him, sadly, because we needed him here. Infernal Dragon is very important, obviously. 
because I always can teleport down if we actually go for it, but never mind. God, they like three of them. These three are just losing their mind. They're just going really negative. That could just lose us the game. It's very possible. I've been in games where it's happened that people just kind of freak out and the game's over. Where is our team, man? Like, nowhere to be seen. Like, how- me and Nunu kept them there for so long. That's good. That's good. Keep ult. There we go. Like, it, like, legit, we kept them there for so long. Finally. Riven is alive, and she probably could triple kill. Oh, that was good. The annoying thing with that is I don't even know how many assists I got. I don't even think I got that many. If at all. Because they came in so much later than what we did. Oh no, now he's going to get killed. Okay, Phew. but that's just that that's just over risking. All right, so she has the anti-healing item versus me. Not surprising. Uh, but in a, imagine in a big team fight that me and Nunu making that much kind of chaos with then our team with us with an Oriana ult with a Varus ultimate. It's that will be near unstoppable. So that's what we're looking for. I don't know if we should be overstaying this much. Oh, really? That ruined my day. Yeah, I think we overstayed maybe a bit too much. Like, we pr they probably have a decent amount of gold. Yeah, so we kind of, well, we nearly aced them. Obviously, Riven wasn't in the fight, and then we get aced. We're just making some dumb mistakes. We shouldn't have overstayed there. But it should be a fine. Again, hopefully the team realize that this game is winnable. Hopefully these three stop uh, having a hissy fit. And if we group when everybody has, you know, like, bought their gold and stuff like that, then I think we'll be fine. Your turret has been destroyed. I am a teacher. So, yeah. Um, yeah, the exhaust, though. Ah, that ruined my day. Basically is, like, the biggest, like, for an Alawi in the world. <laughs> the cool thing with an interaction with Alawi is, like, if you get her Q off before you get CC'd, the Q will still go off while you're getting CC'd. Because the animation has already gone through, technically. Kind of like Ezreal ult or Lux ult. Sometimes you're like, how did that even go off? Because the animations already go through. It can't get cancelled at that point. So it's pretty cool against CC teams if you time it right. I'm a bit nervous about where they're walking in River. Because they could get completely sandwiched if they're not careful. Without change, something sleeps inside us. My, uh, my thought process right now is I think I can 1v... I know she's 5-1, and one, but I'm pretty sure I can 1v1 her. Do I just go for, like, 1v1s or do we look for the team fights? Because, like, I think team fights are good for us, but I don't know if we're ever going to have them. Um, we, we can't do Baron, my friend, without our AD carry. Uh, we, we could do it in terms of surviving for it, but... And now he's getting caught. God damn it, this Nunu. That might be barren them for them. He just walks in so random places. I guess I'll go bot lane. Yeah. Many die. Worthy souls fight you all. My God, stop. 
Jesus Christ. We haven't even done what our comp does yet. Thresh is running. Wait, did Oriana now get caught? Yep. And he just walked straight into her. What the heck? Did he just in? Did he like purposely just run into her? Because I pinged so much that she was coming. And nothing. He just walked into her. What the hell? Again, if I'm a bit frustrated, because we're in Platinum Promo here. These are in Platinum 1, Diamond 1, oh, Diamond 5 players. It's supposed to be good. And holy moly. It's surprising. They're probably doing Baron, but I'll do Infernal. Maybe he can try to steal it. Oh, wait. they were try I think they tried to do it, but then it actually didn't go well for them, because Janna had to tank it, maybe? Oh, okay. She used charm. She used charm. No. We... Oh, wait, what? If they get those kills, it's barren. They're dead. And that's probably Infernal now as well. Oh, wait, what? I'd be very surprised if they, yeah. I don't know what to do. This is a really headache game for me because I don't trust my team when they're alone. Because, like, I, yeah. But the Riven is just going to keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger the more she split pushes. I should buy everything. Because, like, I was ahead on her and farmed the whole game, and now she's ahead on me. It's annoying. Really annoying. Damn, that, that could have been really good for us as well. That could have been barren. If Nunu just backed off a little bit quicker. I wonder if Riven will want to fight me if I kind of leave myself more open right now. I doubt it, because she probably even knows... Like, if she get like, say if she waits in this bush and gets the complete jump on me, there's a chance. Because, like, double Infernal, full AD, she'll be doing a lot of damage. Yeah, more people getting caught. Yeah, Riven's now. Yeah, I don't know. It's practically been the same old game that Sejuani just comes out of the jungle, ults somebody, and then someone dies. It's like, wow. Again, sometimes it's weird. Sometimes you know, like, a win condition. But for whatever reason, you just can't pull it off. Nah, there's no point going for that. That would just be suiciding. If Varus went there, maybe. But Varus isn't even going there. Because if I teleported and flashed in the middle of them... He is actually stopping them doing Baron. Sejuani, like, again, the Sejuani's played well the whole game. But she just made the biggest mistake that jung some junglers make. Chasing the enemy jungler away as the jungler. You're the person that has to try and get the Baron. It's up to you. And if you're the one leaving, and if their jungler manages to get back in the pit, you've just given them Baron. <coughs> Especially, like, a Nunu, whose specialty is killing objectives. Oh man, that's funny. That's really funny. Well, that could be a turning point. Again, we all we need to do really to win this game is group. Group, team fight, have the Nunu and me in the front. It does, again, it doesn't matter if we die a million times. If we can be a distraction for the Varus and Oriana to kill stuff, we win. Oh. 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 Brilliant. She went on me. Again, that's that's what we want. I'm a distraction. I'm a tank, basically. So if she's ulting me instead of my Varus or whoever, that's a great thing. Oh my god, their damage is just so hot. Oh, there's the Oriana ult. We needed that to stop the Riven. The Riven just murdered everything. If the Oriana did it as Riven was coming in and then Varus turned on the Riven, I think that would have been alright. But damn, man. 
Ribbon did a lot of damage. She is 8-1, and one, so I guess, you know, you can't really be surprised. And I think she even lived. It's like, oh my god, what do we do? I guess not bunch up that much. I think we bunched up as three or four people. That was probably our mistake. Because, uh, yeah, I think Riven into the... I think the, like, REQ the whole way through? Yeah, you're just asking to die at that point. Um, See, there's still a bunch of stuff that I can go... I think I'm just going to go more tanky, though. Like, Death Dance is an amazing item on the Lowy, but this is not this game, you know? If I was snowballing, sure. But she's even already got, like, the Avarice. Or Execution, sorry. So it's not even going to be as effective if I even bought it. Why, are you, like, is the whole enemy team coming top lane? Potentially. They're, like, all in the jungle to the right of me. Kill oh my god, please. Where was the Varasalt, man? He had Varasalt, it was up. Oh, that would have been a nice kill. Hook. Oh. Oh. Riven just killed everything. Riven literally just killed like three people. Holy moly. Damn, this game I think was winnable. We've lost it. We've definitely lost it now. But yeah, I think this game was winnable. Which is disappointing. I had a bad performance. But like, again, I never want to make like pure excuses. Uh, which again, I played bad. I'm going to say that before the comment section goes off on one. I know I played bad. But that is allowing. Alawi, as you probably guys know, is a champion that you'll either probably go godlike on and snowball, or you won't do that much. That's her design. And unfortunately, it was the one that I played bad and we didn't do a whole lot. And uh, that's just unfortunately the way it went. Um, and yes, there were contributing factors to that, obviously. One, I died in the 1v1 early, which is really bad. We did okay from then on in against the Riven. But I think then I died to a Sejuani gank. And then from then on, all of my deaths were then in team fights. I'm pretty sure. There was a bit of a difference in the jungling, uh, obviously. There was a difference in mid lane. I'd say my bot lane did well, and I'm going to actually give Stakel to him. They were being a bit toxic and flamey to the, the Nunu, kind of making him the scapegoat. Uh, but again, I don't know. We probably could have won. We just didn't, I don't know, do anything, really. If the Nunu had either a bigger impact in the early game, took dragons by himself. So, like, you know, he just got the infernals and stuff like that. Um, or if the Orianna kind of didn't do dirt moments. Like, the Orianna, I think, was like 0 and 3 at one point at the early game because she kept running in when she probably just should have left. And so, a, a lot of stuff. Again, there's all. In every single game of League, sometimes you can go, that lost you the game. And you can very easily define it. But in most games of League, it's not that clear cut. A lot of games in League, it's like, oh, okay, that a bit and that a bit. And yeah, so th th it's not as clear cut as just you know, that. Uh, but we, yeah, damage-wise, not, you know, not great. Uh, Riven, I will say, she just wiped the floor a bit with people in late game. Um, we, I guess we didn't have a crazy amount of protection if Thresh went in. So in that last fight, I don't know who she killed. Like, she killed two or three people. I don't know if Thresh managed to get her his box down, but Riven just kind of ignored it. I don't know. Uh, I'll have to watch you back again. This is where sometimes in commentaries I may get things wrong because I'm live, obviously. You guys are watching a video. When I watch them back in editing and stuff like that, then I can see, okay, that's what happened. Um, so, yeah. Annoying game, but, you know, obviously it's uploaded. I upload every episode. Uh, but the, the Platinum promo does continue. And again, Alawi, I want to say, she's not a bad champion, but she is one of the extreme champions that you'll either have a godlike game or you'll probably feed. Is that good for climbing? Eh, again, there is a reason I dropped a Lowy a while ago. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy it, nonetheless, throw a like on it, subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.